Hello folks, this is David Hurley of EasyChessTips.com, your pub chess bluffer, talking to you about a game I played um, last week against my regular opponent in which I was white and started with d4 as usual. And after these um, signature opening moves, d4, d5, c4, um, I was somewhat dismayed to see my opponent move out the king's uh, knight uh, to f6, ushering in the uh, martial defense, which is an opening uh, defense by black that is not highly recommended, and you simply don't see it at the higher levels. Um, however, if you, uh, as white playing d4 and c4, are confronted with the martial defense, here is what to do. Simply take that uh, d-pawn. And um, very often your opponent will uh, take it back with the knight. And at this point, it's interesting to see that uh, Lightyear actually recommends an immediate d4 because uh, my man, John Watson, does not recommend that. He recommends um, what he calls a finessing move, as I have mentioned before in previous videos about the martial defense. Um, he recommends this move of uh, knight to f3, uh, preventing black from an, a quick advance of the, uh, the e-pawn. Uh, so why should that be? It's because if you do immediately advance the uh, d the e pawn to e4, uh, this set of moves can occur, which uh, John Watson thinks leads to difficulties. And uh, also, uh, a much earlier book, um, Hartson's uh, Chess Openings, into a penguin into a penguin book, the Penguin Book of Chess Openings, also does not recommend um, a quick e4. But like John Watson, somewhat later, he recommends uh, the knight to c3 finessing move. However, Lightyear seems quite happy to go with the quick e4, and we can have a look at what happens. Um, this is the reason why John Watson doesn't recommend it, is because uh, it gives black an opportunity to fork uh, the white king and the white rook, so things don't look too good for white until you realize that white can do exactly the same thing to black. And so you come out of the martial defense with this early, early e4. You can come out of it in a situation something like this. But you'll notice light yes is maintaining, is um, giving white a slight advantage throughout this set of opening moves. So if you like to play crazy style games, then get in that early e4. Uh, move against the martial defense. I, I have found some success in doing it because um, not too many players at the casual chess level are aware of that kind of disruptive potential that black has against that early e4 move. Um, disruptive potential, but white can maintain a small but important advantage going into the middle game. However, having uh, read and to some degree absorbed what uh, what John Watson teaches, I responded with uh, the finessing move of knight to f3. Now, the rec against this move, the best move for black is indeed to move the bishop out to f5 uh, to guard against uh, that uh, e4 move, which is fine now for, which would otherwise be fine for white in these circumstances. Um, and then we get something like this, or we can get something like this set of moves here with a, a very slight advantage being maintained by, by white going into uh, or approaching or leaving the uh, opening game here in the martial defense. However, that is not what we did. Um, my opponent brought out the knight, and I then uh, made that e4 move. And we see this series of moves here. You can see white has built up now quite a nice advantage. It's only the sixth move. Um, and even when I'm not playing those recommended moves by light chess, the advantage is maintained. Okay, it would appear that I'm not playing. I'm, I'm even managing to get rid of my advantage in the martial defense by moving my bishop back. That is only temporary. The advantage returns with this set of moves here. 
I wasn't sure about my queen move, but Lichess doesn't mind it too much. And now things begin to unravel here for my opponent. I have a nice strong center. Lichess is recommending I take with the queen to attack the knight. I'm quite happy to have a central pawn mass. And um, what happens next? I attack. Yes, you can see the defense is building up. I get that nice, uh, sorry, the advantage of building up for white. And by attacking the knight here, I'm opening up the path to the uh, rook over here. And um, so light chess is recommending that um, black protect the rook by bringing the knight across. But my opponent didn't notice that the rook was threatened by my bishop and he moved his knight back. Um, I took the rook. It does put the queen on this very nice diagonal. Um, that's a bit of a worry. White has to go careful, but it still has a major advantage. Um, I'm pleased to say I saw that move, and although I took a while to get there, I'm seeking to pin the knight to the queen here, but it's not very effective. Black could respond with this f6 move or simply move the queen away. Um, yeah, I'm looking at attacking that stuck rook. The rook there cannot move. The reason why I pulled my bishop back was to come up here to attack it. Um, Lightchess thinks it would actually be better to return here and attack from this corner, which is, which is almost certainly correct. However, I'm aiming to get my pieces over on the h file and then from here, we get in the attack that wins the game. Uh, I pick up, I pick up, uh, uh, I'm now ahead by a rook. And what's the pawn situation? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have a one rook advantage, which is sufficient to bring about a victory in this game. The game went on for many more moves, but... Um, as I ground down the pawn structure here with my, with with both of my rooks, I get this rook over here. There's a kind of double attack on the king through my rooks. But uh, the main story, the moral of this story is, if you're black, it's probably a good idea to avoid the martial defence, unless you like mixing it up, assuming that white is going to. Uh, putting in an early e4 move. That didn't happen in our game, and it led to a fairly comfortable victory, I think, for white um, playing against that martial defence. OK, that's all for me, David Hurley, the pub chess bluffer of easychesstips.com. Until next time, keep on practising and improving your chess.